Hello, book besties. I'm happy we're here together. Please like and subscribe, and together we can share stories with more friends, just like you and me. Friends, today's story, Clifford's Halloween, by Norman Bridwell. Clifford's Halloween. I'm Emily Elizabeth. Today is a holiday. It's my favorite day of the year. This is my dog, Clifford. Today is his favorite day of the year, too. With a big red dog like Clifford, every day is fun. But holidays are the most fun of all. At, at Christmas, Clifford makes a very good Santa. He already has a red coat. And on New Year's Eve, we stay up until midnight so Clifford can blow his New Year's horn. Happy New Year! On Valentine's Day, Clifford is my favorite Valentine. And you should see Clifford on Easter. He makes a wonderful Easter bunny. On April Fool's Day, Clifford never plays tricks on anyone. And no one plays tricks on Clifford. On Thanksgiving, Clifford gets a great big turkey. But today is the best holiday of all. Halloween. Last year, we had a big Halloween party. I dressed as a pirate. But I didn't know how to dress Clifford. Daddy thought Clifford would make a good devil. I wanted him to be a clown. Or maybe a witch. But Clifford wanted to be a ghost. When the children came to the party, nobody could guess who the big ghost really was. We had fun. We bobbed for apples. Clifford wanted to play, too. We played another game with apples. Clifford won that game. Then Mommy told us a ghost story, but we weren't afraid. We had the biggest ghost on our street taking care of us. After the party, Clifford and I went trick-or-treating. We didn't have much luck. But we didn't mind. It was time to go to bed anyhow. Halloween was over. And now Halloween has come again. I'm not going to be a pirate this year. I'm going to be a fairy princess. But what should Clifford be? An Indian? A knight? What do you suggest?